Okay, so Daniel, what we'd like to find out is um, for people who are taking over the sacred fire, how what's the protocol they should follow to do this properly? Okay, it's quite simple. The uh, fire will already be started, therefore uh, uh, Chris here um, will be the leader. Uh, we've entrusted, the Algonquin uh, have decided to um, uh, share um, and uh, appreciate Chris' uh, willingness to uh, take over as far as leading the fire. So he'll lead the fire. And uh, so the protocol is going to be very simple. It's always the same thing is that um, it's the fire that's burning is like an altar in your church or anywhere. So you need to uh, be careful uh, the way you come around the fire. So it has to be respected. Uh, no garbage can be thrown in the, the fire. And uh, people, uh, when they approach the fire, should just uh, uh, do so with respect. And uh, discussion about the fire is very important. That people uh, watch their language and watch what they're talking about. This fire was dedicated really for uh, as a prayer to uh, the Creator to help or to intervene to save this forest. So really this is uh, what we need to ponder over. So it's not a place for political, uh, uh, talking about politics. Um, the, uh, the way to approach the fire, uh, if you want to offer tobacco, sage, cedar, or sweet grass, is you ask the firekeeper and they will lead you. Uh, where to go and you approach from the east and put your, your offerings and prayer and uh, your prayer will will, uh, will be heard um, the 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 fire is sacred but all, also the forest but whatever uh, is around the forest so the the land here on the parking lot of beaver pond needs to be kept extremely clean uh, no food no littering never throw things in the, f in the fire that is other than the natural things um, and uh, make sure to pick up the garbage and even if it's garbage of other please pick it up make sure to dispose of this is a sacred place so it has to be always kept that way um, when we encourage uh, people to uh, to ask questions and uh, sometimes there'll be a medicine man here it won't be hard to find a medicine man you can go to ask uh, if he can smudge you and whatever and can ask questions the Algonquin will be present here all the time there'll be uh, people to, to, to uh, support Chris and uh, uh, the people it'll be easy for them to, uh, to find a, a way to uh, ask questions so basically that's it I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Uh, Dan was bringing a point here, and it's because it's a sacred place, it would be, I should mention it, but it should be common sense. If it's like, a, we said, uh, if it's like going to church, you would not go to church uh, with alcohol. Right? So there's no alcohol, no alcohol, and no drugs, absolutely, and no foul language, and anything that uh, is detract from uh, the sacredness of this, uh, yeah, people will be uh, put on notice because uh, this is extremely important. So this is, uh, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, me question. Yeah.